back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Now I have to start off today's video by apologizing to you guys for completely disappearing on you. Now I have no plausible explanation as to why I went missing so I'm not even going to try and make up any excuses. All I'm going to say is I'm sorry, truly, truly sorry from the bottom of my heart and hopefully, fingers crossed, I am back. And I wanted to come back with a good old school haul for you all. Now I did shop some skincare, hair care and makeup so I wanted to share all of that goodness with you guys. Now truth be told, over the past couple of years, my shop has reduced drastically for a couple of different reasons. Now I already have a huge collection and I don't want to add more to it because a lot of it is already going unused and I do get a lot of PR as well. I'm actually starting to saying no to a lot of PR because of the collection I have but these were some things that I've had in my cart since a while. I mulled over it, I thought over it and then I purchased and I was also getting some great deals and discounts. So that's another reason. But yes, these were some things that I truly wanted to try out. So please do not feel the need to shop just because I have shopped if you genuinely have a need and you're getting good discounts then it's the only time you should be shopping for anything out there but with that being said let's move on to the haul let's see what all i've picked up and if there's any product that you want me to review then do let me know in the comment section down below but that's going to be it for the intro season let's get on to the haul all righty let's start off with the things that i picked up from cult i only shop cos rx from them and they were having a flat 50 percent off so i could not resist it the first thing i picked up was the centella water alcohol free toner and this is what the packaging looks like it comes in this normal plastic bottle with a spray pump on top which is something I really like since I don't have to get extra cotton pads or anything to apply the toner I can just spritz it over and be done with it now this one is supposed to be very hydrating calming and moisturizing so I'm really excited because the fall and winter season is right here around the corner and I'm Sahara Desert Dry so something like this is going to be a staple in my skincare now I've not tried anything from my Corsarex haul so let me know if there's something you want me to try first and I can do it for you guys but I'm so excited to finally have Cosrx in my collection. The next thing I picked up is their 2-in-1 poreless pore liquid. Now let's address the elephant in the room. This is not supposed to get rid of the pores. Pores are normal, natural and much needed by your skin. What it is supposed to do is it's supposed to get rid of clogged pores or pores that have white heads or blackheads and that's something I really need since my nose is a blackhead magnet. I really need something like this in my life. I know they also have something blackhead power solution that works amazingly for a lot of people but that wasn't available on the app so I went ahead with this one and I'm really excited to try this one out. Hopefully this is able to get my blackhead situation under control. Moving on I have Dream Hero calming pads with me right here. Basically these are pre dip pads that you can just apply all over your face and they're going to work like a toner or a serum and this one again as the name suggests is a calming product and my skin really likes that. Now honestly I shy away from products like these because they are like one time use and throw product but this one I think is biodegradable so I'm just going to dump it in my garden so it can biodegrade itself and just you know become manual for the grass but this again I'm really excited for because my skin definitely needs and loves calming soothing products and the last thing that I purchased is the Centella blemish cream I have to start off by saying that this was much tinier than what I expected the size to be but then again this is supposed to be a spot treatment for your blemishes and thankfully I don't have that many blemishes on my face right now so I'm actually going to try it on my back since I do have a lot of back and scarring and I think that's going to be a nice judging parameter for this cream and if it can clear my back and scarring then this gets a double thumbs up from my side so wish me luck on this new journey that I'm going to undertake with this cream. Let's move on to the things that I picked up from Nykaa and the first thing is something I've seen go around the internet so much and I wanted to see if the hype is real or not and I'm talking about the Alan Truman Blow Brush. Now I picked up in the pink color because it just felt really cute to me. Now I haven't really tried this. I think my mom tried it once. I haven't tried it yet so I will be doing that soon but one thing that I truly have to say is I felt the whole mechanism over here feels very very cheap. The on off cool and hot uh, um, you know direction it felt very cheap and very plasticky like the overall product feels very plasticky and I know that it is cheap and by cheap I mean on the more affordable side of things but still it just does not feel like good build it just feels very light and very halka mal if you know what I mean so that is something I was a little meh about but hopefully if it works well then I won't have any issues with it since it is slightly on the more affordable side so let's see how this one works for me because people swear by this 
from Alan Truman again, I picked up their wet and dry detangler brush in another beautiful pink shade. Now I do have a couple of wet detanglers from Tangle Teaser, but this one felt very different because of the shape and the bristle spacing. So I wanted to see if this is any better than the ones that I already own. And also I feel like I can make a very swanky reel with this and the blow brush and it's going to be very aesthetically pleasing. Now by no means am I an aesthetic queen. I feel I'm more of a need and a budget queen. That is the self-proclaimed title I would like to give to myself. But even for someone like me, this feels like a very aesthetic thing to own so yeah excited about this and the reel that i might make in the coming few weeks Sticking to the hair care genre, I picked up the complete Hyaluron Moisture range from L'Oreal. So I have the shampoo, conditioner and the night filling cream with me right here. Now I'm going to reserve my thoughts for a review Wednesday. I feel like I want to talk about it more since I have tried it. So maybe day after tomorrow when we have a review Wednesday, you can see me talking about it, hopefully. But all I'm going to say is L'Oreal is pretty obsessed with Hyaluronic Acid and I feel like now is a good time that they move on to a couple of different ingredients as well because I think for now we have a lot of Hyaluronic Acid in a lot of their different different products, be it skin care, hair care. I don't think they have body care or makeup with hyaluronic acid, at least in India. So, you know, we can just shift our focus a little bit from hyaluronic acid and move on to other ingredients. There's so many beautiful ingredients out there waiting for them to be, you know, put into products and be marketed like they have marketed hyaluronic acid. But more on it in the review Wednesday. Time to move on to makeup now and I'm actually going to go brand by brand since I did pick up a couple of things from each brand and the first brand I want to talk about is e.l.f. Now from e.l.f. I picked up the Hydrating Camo Concealer. I've already tried and loved the Camo Concealer so this one just felt the next natural step since I already have Sahara Desert Dry Skin. I picked up the shade Medium Beige and somehow I feel like this is going to be slightly dark for me. So I should have probably, you know, checked the shades a little better but online shopping is risky that way. Um, so I think either I'll pass it on to my mom who can use it or I'll have to go out on a beach vacation and get tanned and all of that for me to use this either way I am gonna pick up another shade that would suit me for most of the year round and this one can be something that would suit me when I have a tan then I picked up their lip lacquer and this one is in the shade fantasy it's a beautiful topper shade with a lot of glitter particles inside it now the main reason I picked it up is because I think this is under rupees 500 and I want to check out some new products under rupees 500 for my top 5 under 500 series and glosses are really in right now and that is why I picked it up so we'll try it out and if it makes the cut then you'll hopefully see it pretty soon soon in my top 5 under 500. Now because my elf purchases were over a certain threshold, I got their length and volume mascara free with purchase and this is a mascara that I do not enjoy. I have talked about this mascara in the past. It does not really do anything for my lashes. So I have another bottle of this and I still haven't finished the first one because I do not enjoy it. Now continuing on that budget idea, I picked up two things from Essence. The first one being their extra shine volume lip gloss. Again, I want to be able to recommend you guys some beautiful budget lip glosses and that's why I'm testing out a couple of different formulations so this is going on my testing table ASAP and the second thing I picked up is the blush from Essence again another product that I feel right now is pretty in is a blush and this is a beautiful color as well hopefully the formulation also lives up to it alrighty let's move on to L18 now who remembers my reviews on L18 products from back in the day now you're not missing out on anything because those are the same products they still have till date now they did launch matte liquid lipsticks and I feel like they're a little behind time and trend since right now glosses are trending I mean matte liquid lipsticks are always going to sell since people are looking for things that are easier to maintain and not so much transferable. So yeah, they're always going to sell. But right now, glosses are the trendy product to have. But I still picked up their matte liquid lipsticks. I picked up four shades because I wanted to try them out. Again, these are quite affordable. And if they're nice formulation, then why not? So I picked up a couple of different shades. Let's quickly go over them. I have Flattering Nude, which looks more like a pink. Then we have Tawny Wood, which is a beautiful rust color. Then and we have Nutty Latte, a beautiful deep brown color. And lastly, we have Nude Pumps, which looks like a pink color again. It doesn't look like a nude to me. But let me quickly try out these formulations. And over the next couple of weeks, I might be updating with a review or a top 5 under 500 or a product I regret buying, depending on how these work out for me. And the last brand I want to talk about is Swiss Beauty. Now, before I talk about the product I picked up, I have to say brands like Swiss Beauty, Insight, Mars are doing some amazing things, you guys. And this was something I saw and I was like, what? I need to pick that 
that up i'm talking about their lash books these are beautiful lashes that you get for such an affordable rate i think each of these lash books retail for rupees 350 and you get five pair of lashes in there so that is under 100 rupees per lash and these are nice styles as well they look really beautiful hopefully they're easy to wear as well again once i try them on i will update you guys they will be on my channel somewhere or the other because i'm so excited and even the packaging again looks so aesthetic and i'm not even an aesthetic queen so we have that and with that i also got another free gift with my purchase since my purchase was over a threshold this one i'm not really that excited for since it's not something that really calls out to my name it is their metallic matte lip gloss basically it's a matte liquid lipstick with glitter particles in there to give it like a metallic finish and this is the formulation and the finish i have never gravitated towards i'm just not a huge fan of products like these and this color also looks very chatak this is the shade lady danger and i'm not really looking forward to trying this out so i'll probably just pass it on to someone who would like it but yes that is everything i wanted to share with you guys for my haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then don't forget to comment and subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me thank you for sticking with me throughout all of these years even when i've not been so consistent and your love and support means the absolute world to me i always say it and i mean it from the bottom of my heart but that's gonna be it for today's video i'll see you guys next time till then take care i love you all so much Bye. Mm-hmm.